The Tour de France is one of the most prestigious cycling races in the world. It's a three week long race that covers over 3,000 kilometers. There are four main jerseys that are awarded during the Tour de France. Le maillot jaune, le maillot à bois, le maillot blanc, and le maillot vert. The maillot jaune, or the yellow jersey, is the most coveted jersey in the Tour de France, and it is awarded to the rider who has the lowest cumulative time after each stage. The first yellow jersey was worn by Frenchman Eugène Christophe in the stage from Grenoble to Geneva on the 19th of July 1919. The colour was chosen to reflect the yellow newsprint of the organising newspaper, Liotto. Henri Descranges, editor of Liotto, the founding newspaper of the Tour de France, wrote, this morning I gave the valiant Christophe a superb yellow jersey. The man leading the race should wear a jersey in the colours of Leoto. The battle to wear this jersey is going to be passionate. Riders can win the Tour de France without winning a stage, as Chris Froome did in 2017, but finishing in the top three on each stage gives you time bonuses. 10 seconds for the rider who comes in first, 6 seconds for the rider who comes in second, and 4 seconds for the rider who comes in third creating incentives for those general classification riders to chase individual victories and lower their overall time. The prize money for winning the yellow jersey was 610,000 euros or $634,000 in 2022. The polka dot jersey is awarded to the rider with the highest amount of points in the climbers classification. There wasn't a specific climbers jersey awarded to a rider until 1965, when a sponsor, Chocolat Poulain, chose the colours of the jersey to resemble their wrapper. The first rider to wear the distinctive white and red jersey was Belgium, Lucien van Ibb. Riders earn points for finishing the top eight of mountain passes, with more points being awarded to the higher categorised climbs. Hors catégorie is a French term used to define a climb, which supposedly goes beyond categorization. Cars weren't intended to be able to pass. This year in the Tour de France, there are six hors catégorie climbs. Hors catégorie climbs are the hardest climbs in the race, which is harder than a category one climb, which is harder than a category two climb, and which is harder than a category three climb. The easiest category being category four. The white jersey is awarded to the best young rider in the Tour de France. The white jersey was first worn by Francesco Mosier in 1975. From 1968 to 1975, there was a white jersey awarded in the Tour de France to the leader in the combined classification. Eddie Merckx was one such rider that won the white jersey when it was combined, having the most points, as well as being the best overall rider in the race, and having the most points in the climbing competition. In 1975, this classification was removed and was replaced by the young rider's classification. The green jersey is awarded to the rider who has the most points in the points classification. Riders earn points for finishing in the top 15 of stages and for winning intermediate sprints. In the 1953 edition, to celebrate the 50th birthday of the Tour de France, the points system was reintroduced. The green jersey was first awarded in 1953 to Fritz Schaar, a Swiss cyclist. Currently, 50 points are given to the stage winner on each flat stage of the Tour de France. So let's take a look at how a sprint is won in the Tour. Here we have the final of stage 6 in 2021, and we have the greatest sprinter of all time, Mark Cavendish, in a great position at the front of the race. Ahead of him are his two teammates that will be helping Mark keep him at the front of the race, while also helping him to conserve energy and keep him out of trouble. On the other side of the road, we have Albus and Phoenix with their sprinter, the young Belgian rocket Jasper Philipsen. So as I mentioned, we have two of the best sprinters in the 2021 edition of the Tour de France. At the front of the race, with 500 meters to go, we've got Mark Cavendish, arguably the best sprint of all time, and the absolute rocket that is Jesper Philipsen. So let's watch how this plays out. Ultimately, Cavendish won. So let's take a look at that in more detail. At 400 meters, one of Cav's lead out men pulls off. At 300 meters, Cav realizes he's on the weaker train and jumps into Jesper's lead out. Until within 200 meters to go, he launched his sprint. Going round to the right of Jesper's teammate, cutting him up slightly, causing him to slow down. 
and then doing the same to Jesper before sprinting to the line. In doing so, equaling Eddie Merckx's all-time win record in the Tour. Consistently scoring points is the way to win the green jersey, and therefore you have to finish every stage of the Tour. That's right, including all of the mountains. But most importantly, you need raw sprint power. The best in the world produce upwards of 1,500 watts in a sprint. Points can also be accumulated in intermediate sprints, one of which is placed within each stage on the flattest sections of the course. The points on offer for intermediate sprints start at 20 for first place, 17 for second, 15 for third, 13 for fourth, all the way down to one point for 15th. Now you know how to win a jersey at the Tour de France. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.